Nice one, nice one. Are you going to listen to some Kalagata? Kalagata is my favourite song. And some TKZ. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to the show. My name is Jeannie D and this is Afternoon Express. Absolutely. Hello, ladies. Absolutely. Hello, hello. Oh, Bonnie Booty, thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy it's Friday, guys. I'm yes. like Jeez. so ready for the weekend. Wow, yes. this Friday could not, well, it should. It could have come way quicker. A hundred percent. But today's going to be a great day because today on Afternoon Express we are bringing you not one but two stellar performances by artists who have both defined themselves by their authentic sounds and genres. Mm -hmm. And I was listening to their soundtrack and I'm blown away. They're amazing. Yeah. They're I'm amazing. now their new biggest fan. I can't Hands wait down. to speak to them. Wow. I can't wait for them to perform and you're absolutely going to love them. So we chat to singer, songwriter and producer Sufesi Thesiswana, a.k.a. God. He speaks to us about his journey and his unique genre of music called Neo Drum. Plus, we sit down with 22-year-old Munga K, an up-and-coming artist whose album Wild Solace is making waves in the music industry at the moment. We discuss his diverse background and what makes his eccentric sound tick and that voice. I'm telling you, out of this oh, world. Spectacular. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I'm taken, 100% taken. So we can't wait for you to join our social media conversation, go over to our platforms and tell us which different music genres would you mix together for a new sound. So if you were to create your own new sound or genre, what would it be? So uh, tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag Afternoon Express or pop over to our Facebook page and leave us a comment. Now, our next guest is just 22 years old, but in this time he's lived in three African countries, performed in countless shows and released two albums. And he's featured in numerous magazines. Now, Monga K is joining us on the couch to discuss his experiences as a young boy in Zambia, Botswana and South Africa and seeing how it shaped him and influenced him to create music that fits no genres. Welcome to the loft. You're like my <laughs> musical crush for the year. Oh, thank you so much for I having me. I love your sound. It's absolutely spectacular. Thank you but so you know much. what I've realized about you? <laughs> and it's I haven't I've yet to come across other artists. You sound better live <laughs> than what you do. Like on the like it's un thank you. you are unbelievable. Thank you so much. We what a try. stunning voice. Thank you, I appreciate it. And that. you know, listening to you and, and, and reading your story during the research, I, I get a sense that your uh, your your sound is a combination of your life's journey, your your life's work, yeah. your, your purpose, your yeah. just the contribution you want to make to the world. But yeah. how did you coin that? How did you define that? So I love writing music about stories, whether it's stories about me and my experiences or my friends or strangers. And I've been working on this music that we call alternative soul, which is just like ah. every single genre put together. That makes uh, sense. That makes so, sense when you listen yeah. to it. So yeah. my friend Andrew Williams, who's going to perform with me, we've been friends since I was 13 and we've been making music since I was 13. So we've just been going through this journey of just my weird ideas and melodies and stuff and I'll take them to him and he'll be like okay cool this is how the music is going to sound and then we come together and just make what we what we the world that we want to live in wow <laughs> your sound belies your age <laughs> which is incredible like Thank I you. can imagine you, you wanting to collaborate with like Jimi Hendrix James yes. Brown Lenny Kravitz yes. like all oh good. exactly <laughs> my inspirations <laughs> that she just labeled there that's yeah. just what, what I heard but you've had such a colorful life and such a colorful yeah. upbringing yeah. I mean it must have been amazing living in some of the most beautiful parts of Africa. Yeah, yeah. So what was your childhood like? So um, I was born in Zambia um, and then we moved to Botswana when I think I think I was three years old yeah. and that's where I found a lot of myself and a lot of my friends and a lot of um, just growth and 
I, was, I moved to Joburg four years ago. I think yeah. it's been four years now. It's been a great move. Um, but everything's just been growth. I think what I deal with is just meeting new people and learning yeah. from them and learning about myself through these people yeah. and then just evolving c consistently. Yeah. So it's been great. What I find about um, phenomenal artists who are, who've, who've managed to carve a place in the world that we haven't seen or seen anybody else do is that they usually have a, a rough childhood trying to navigate who it is that they mm -hmm. are, yeah. trying to express who yeah. they are. And I get a sense that that's what you went through. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your childhood and just understanding who Mongo was and just working with mm. that, negotiating <laughs> that, so to speak. Yeah, so Mongo as a young boy was very mm. emotional. Um, I was dealing with a lot of just, you know, trying to seek validation, especially a lot from um, my male peers. I, I was a very emotional kid, so just battling with trying to fit into the mold of masculinity and trying to appease to that was a difficult mm. um, circumstance. And that's what I kind of write a lot about. I mean, with the music, I think vulnerability is the most important thing, especially mm. as a man, um, because it just, it's honest and it's pure and it's us as human beings. Yeah. So. It was pretty, um, it was interesting just um, learning what being a good person is like. And I was just trying to learn that through, again, meeting people and writing a lot. I was, so a lot of the times just facing toxic masculinity and facing these ideals. So yeah. my mom, who is here, by the way, <laughs> oh, she <laughs> yes, she just got her second uh, master's degree. That's amazing. And she's working on her PhD at the moment as well. Congratulations, so I was mom, like, if you I got to put her amazing. on my shirt. I'm proud of her. Wow. <laughs> Good mom. So my, my mom's just, I love her so much. She oh. just taught me a lot about what being an honest man is, and my sisters as well. And just taught me how to just respect women, respect human beings, and just be the best you that you can be. So that really helped a lot with me dealing with the emotions of teenagehood and adolescence yeah. and growing up. And I'm still learning. I'm still, I still make mistakes and I'm still going through That's them. That's so beautiful. But I feel like throughout your 20s and throughout your 30s, life is about navigating your way to get to a position where you like yourself. The oh, end goal is beautiful. happy and you just, so I mean, mm. going through that as maturely as what you do and as Thank honestly you. as what you do, which is beautiful. I think a lot of people in their early 20s don't even think about it. Mm. How does that inspire your sound? Like, like what, what, what do you go through when you're, when you're penning words to a melody or so, so with Wild sound? So with Wild Solace, my debut album, um, I like to say that the, the words Wild Solace, they're very contradictory. And mm. what I love to say is this uh, Wild Solace, where you find peace within the chaos. And I think as human beings, we go through so many terrible, terrible, tragic moments, yeah. but somehow we find a way to find such a common solitude in that and come out stronger. And I guess in my 22 years, which is fairly young, I was experiencing a lot of chaotic moments and happy moments. And I wanted to just write about that and come up with stories that I would, I would hope people resonate with and know that they're not alone in those experiences because it's tough feeling like you're alone. And that's mm. when the issue of mental health comes in. And you know, a lot of young people are going through a lot and yeah. we don't have a lot yeah. of people to talk to because we feel like no one wants to listen to us. Yeah. Yeah. And so if Wild Solace can be one of the steps into the direction of honesty and openly talking about how we feel, I think I hope I'm doing a good job. Can I tell you something? You're I was beautiful. listening to your sound check, and everyone at home has to listen to this. <laughs> because when you sing, everyone will listen. <laughs> it is so beautiful. You're a star. Thank Absolutely you so magnificent. Yeah. Thank you for Thank being you so on the much show. for honoring us with your presence. <laughs> Thank You're you amazing. so much for having me. This is a great opportunity. I'm so grateful. Mm -hmm. I truly appreciate how real he is with that to himself and that realness truly comes out in his music. I can't wait until later on in the show when you get a taste of what that man has up his sleeve. Now after the break, we're back into the kitchen where we're making a tropica, a clover tropica watermelon margarita. Plus, later on in the show, we chat to Usipesi Siwana, aka Gran Gard, about his unique sound and genre. Now remember to uh, engage with us on social media and let us know which different music genres you would like to mix together to make a new sound. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page.
Our guests on Afternoon Express fly domestically with Mango. Enjoy outstanding service, online check-in and seat selection. With the widest booking and payment options, Mango is the only airline globally to accept store charge cards as a means of payment. Fly in comfort with ergonomically efficient seats for more legroom aboard a fleet of new generation Boeing 737-800 aircraft. Join the guests of Afternoon Express and Fly Mango. There's nothing smoother than the fresh, cool taste of Clover Tropica. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express on SABC3 where the stage is yours. Now there's nothing smoother than winning when you buy Tropica with the Tropica Smooth Fan Competition. But before we get into those details, we'll be showing you how to stay cool with a smooth watermelon margarita. So get into the spirit of summer and SMS the keyword Clover to get this recipe sent to your device. SMSs are charged at 1 Rand 50 and free SMSs do not apply. I love watermelon. Mm -hmm. Secret about me, Clem. Absolutely. So, yeah. how are we shaking it up in the kitchen today okay. with this watermelon margarita? So, we're going to eat the watermelon or drink it, drink it, My and then favorite. we're going to serve the drink in the watermelon. I don't like summer, you know. Okay, I love love winter. Yes. The one thing I love about summer is entertaining. Yeah. And watermelon. And watermelon. It absolutely. goes down perfectly. I think same WhatsApp group. We can now pair the two. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. What I've done you is promised I've taken we a, can eat the watermelon. Look, by the so. way, if you're not like watermelons yeah. are so expensive right now. Mm. But people are wanting it. Okay? Yeah. So go out on. now, just get them. This is our watermelon. We actually hollowed it out. Uh -huh. All the flesh is inside here. Then we actually 
froze it. I can feel the cold. Because it's going to be our container. You want to keep everything nice and chilled. Okay. So it'll actually stay in your... Get this. I didn't even know. It'll stay in your freezer for like two weeks. Really? Yeah. And the inside won't get soggy you can, or... What I would do is I would actually freeze the watermelon flesh separately. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So, so you hollow it out and freeze it separately. Uh -huh. Okay, that sounds This like a is a virgin margarita inspired um, watermelon cocktail. But you could totally nice. use your favorite drink. A little tipple add, added to it if you yeah. wanted to. For but, all the adults at home. But that inspiration comes from the citrus that we use in there. Nice. Normally it's tequila, it's citrus. You know, that all goes together. Yeah. Delicious. Today... Watermelon is going to be the base with our beautiful it's, Tropica in there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to so good. Okay, there we go. Zest goes there. Okay. This and was quite cool. I would want to make this like as a little centerpiece on the table in front of all your guests. Exactly. So you can do this. Okay, yeah. Squeeze I can, I can into the squeeze watermelon. The watermelon. Oh, I think I cut most of it on my jeans, but it's all good. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, it looks so good. You, you, you're getting your money's worth out of that Listen, orange? Listen, every drop counts this summer. Whoa. Every drop okay. counts this summer. Tropical orange going in there, again, with that citrusy flavor. What's your favorite flavor of Tropica? Um, it has to be the pineapple. Pineapple? Yeah, and my, pregnant, my mom said she drank a lot of it when she was pregnant with me. Really? True story. There we go. That's why you're so sweet. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so corny to do. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, cool. I'm judging myself. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Lime, limes. There you go. Nice. Also for you. Do I squeeze those? Squeeze, in? squeeze. Ooh, looking good, looking good. Next While step. While you're doing that, I'm going to blitz up all of this now. Mm. Done, Ooh. that was quick and easy. I'm loving the color on that. There we go. Pour this in. Ooh, with Everything's our Everything's mixing, sticks. coming together. The beautiful Tropica, fresh watermelon, the citrus from the orange and the lime. Mixing um, all these flavors in together, and obviously we green on Afternoon Express, so we do not we do not use plastic straws. We use bamboo straws. There we Cheers. go. That's all you. I've got my own one. Well, challenge accepted. Go. I will finish this. Now, this week, Tropica lovers stand a chance of winning incredible prizes from LG and Lewis. With Lewis having up to 36 months payback, same-day delivery, and an optional extended two-year guarantee, Lewis will really welcome our Tropica smooth fans home. And don't forget to enter for the grand prize of 250,000 Rand cash. And you can also get a Honda Amaze Comfort CVT. The prize will be fitted with genuine Honda seed covers. And all you have to do is buy Tropica, follow the details on pack, select your favorite celebrity, and stand a chance to win instant prizes, airtime, and so much more. Teas and teas are found on tropica.co.za. <laughs>
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Today's show is possibly one of my favorites because there are the most unbelievable artists on it. So having worked with the likes of Kyle Deutsch, uh, Ewan Wolf, and Kyan Cruz, Sifasile Siswana, AKA God, has proved himself to be a hard worker and a trusted singer, songwriter, and producer. Absolutely, and God has carved out a niche for himself as his neo-drum sound as he embraces African musical influences and fuses these with futuristic pop sounds, making a refreshingly new sound unique to God. Welcome to the loft. So you Let's clarify like the angel. God <laughs> thing. Let's clarify <laughs> the God <laughs> thing, because at a glance, it could sound like G-O-D, yeah. um, but it's not. Take us through it. It's actually kind of really interesting because it works in my favor a little bit because when I first introduced myself, I'm like, my name is God, you're like, G-O-D. <gasps> I'm talking about G-O-D? And I have to explain, like, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about G-R-D-E, which refers to art, like avant-garde art, avant-garde fashion. But that name kind of really resonates with me because of what it means. And it stands for something or someone that's doing something that's breaking the boundaries and is pushing the society. Oh, sorry, that's we can't hear you, so oh, we're going to have to give you that. Oh, even better, yeah, you this go. is my favorite. That's a good mic to drop at the <laughs> end of your interview as well. Oh, oh definitely not. I respect this. Okay, Could you so kindly you can just take us through it again? again. Yeah. Right. I don't want so, people to miss that. So, uh, my name. My name is based on avant-garde, and avant-garde is basically a person or art form that pushes boundaries and is left field and is sort of really progressive. And it comes from like a French a French word. Right. And I was à l'avant-garde at some point. But then I realized that, hey, let's dial it back a little bit. I'm in South Africa. And okay. as far as I'm concerned, not many people know how to pronounce it. Because I, yeah. I was in this other radio station where they were like, um, so we have Lavanza Guard. And I'm like, OK, I don't know who Lavanza Guard is. Uh -huh. So I was like, OK, I need to shorten <laughs> this, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> and then I cut out the Elevant and it was okay. just guard. Nice. I like it. Thank I you like so it. much. I love that it also comes with an explanation. Yeah, exactly. How would you describe your style of music and how did it come about? Because you basically created yeah. your own style. Yeah. Well, neo drum. Yes, ma'am. Um, well, neo drum is, it's basically neo soul chords with uh, jazz arrangements and tribal drums, tribal mm -hmm. and both guaido with a little bit of electronic feels and of course my little secret flavor. Of course. Yeah. Nice. And it came from, well, first, my family is very musical, so I have a lot of uncles. I have six uncles. You've got quite famous uncles. Oh, yes, very, yeah. very, very. Um, Duze Mashobo is one of my uncles, and he's a world renowned guitarist. Wow. And back in the 90s, he toured the world with this band. And also, my other uncle, Wake Mashobo, as well, he, uh, during like the 1980s, he had a band called Stax Music, and they also toured the world. And while Michael Jackson was here, he played drums for Michael Jackson. What? What? Yeah, like twice, actually, yeah. The key, oh, so I mean, that, that I mean, what, a, a what an incredible fame. legacy to come Definitely. from. I mean, obviously, great things are ahead of you. We Definitely. also saw um, that you brought along one of our favorites in the loft. That you, are you collaborating with yes. Younger on this? Yes, um, I have a single out right now. It's titled um, Appreciation. Yeah. And it features my good friend Yanga Yaya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So can you play drums as well? Like what? Um, like well, how what can't you do? Because okay. I yeah. feel like you can do a lot of things. Okay. Well, I am more of the the producer. I have all the the music theory. But as far as articulation, I made it a point that I'd much rather work with people that yeah. are way better than me yeah. at different instruments, so the music can be better. Because making music by yourself is fine and all, but you know when there's more people. People cooking yeah. the pot, it always tastes better. Totally. When you get into a nice jam session. Always. And, but also, your, your body is an instrument and you sing Indeed. so beautifully. Thank you so much. Today is going to be such a treat, really, yeah. for all of our for audience members because. We wow, wait we've got to such exceptional yeah. artists. Thank you so much for having amazing. me. Yeah. Thank you Those so are much. Thank you for being here. By the way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. New Five Roses Fruit Infusions are bursting with juicy, fruity flavor that can be enjoyed hot or cold, and it's naturally caffeine free. Because nobody makes better tea than you and Five Roses. I promise our guest today will have me dancing in the kitchen. But for now, it's cool, it's packed full of delicious flavor, and it's quick and easy to make. Clem's Five Roses Turmeric and Almond Milk Frozen Iced Tea Latte is the perfect treat for anyone looking for a healthy and refreshing drink this summer. It looks 
and sounds like everything I need this afternoon. And it makes you feel so good drinking this. Yeah. Besides the fact it's super chilled. Just like you just ingredients in there just make you feel amazing. Mm. Starting and, with yeah. the tea. The tea, obviously. Yeah, and absolutely. what I like about Five Roses tea, it reminds me of my mom. It's got mm -hmm. that delicious, luxury, smooth, uh, quality taste to it. Yeah. And I'm a tea drinker. So, me too. So Five Roses, literally, it just takes me mm. right back to home, sharing a drink with my mom in the kitchen and, you know, gossiping like us girls uh, do okay. sometimes. And also, <laughs> I just feel like the attention to, like, picking, like, hand-picking those leaves, you know? Yeah. It's, it's so much love that goes into every single cup of tea. It's amazing. That's why you should appreciate every cup of tea that you drink. Yeah, and you can literally taste the love. If you also want to taste the love at home and get this recipe sent to your device, SMS the keyword five roses to 33650 and you'll be receiving the link to this recipe sent straight to your device. All right, so we've got some ground turmeric, ground cinnamon going in there. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful flavors. So let's mm. see, I'm gonna be using honey. And turmeric is a power food, right? It is the like um, most amazing superfood ever. Yeah, it, Absolutely. it kills all of it, it gives you all of it, and yeah, it's just best. Just one like sip takes away 15, I'm lying. Yeah, <laughs> I'm <laughs> you're lying. about to drop some no. facts. Kim, you almost had me there this no. Friday. You know, I'm like, what? Yeah. Yes? No. <laughs> I was right. about to go buy a bag of turmeric <laughs> right now. <laughs> all right, some honey going in. Uh -huh. And I always say this, not just to sweeten the drink, it's also to bring out the flavors that are going on in there. Yeah. So that's okay. going to go like, for like for like four minutes, I think. Okay. Take it off the heat, pop it into a jug, and then freeze it. Or get it as close to like a slushy texture as possible. Yeah, okay. All right, so I've got some over here. And I'll just bring in the almond elements. So here's mine. Okay. Super chill. I'm pouring this over some almonds some almonds. you can totally roast the almonds to bring out like more nutty flavor mm. and does it matter how many almonds you add to your mix it's kind of up to you okay. you know what i mean if you like a very nutty drink with a lot of texture yes use more otherwise you want a subtle subtle flavor of almonds mm. in there use less and maybe just toast it this would also be great for those that are doing like intermittent fasting and you know yeah you to get full because there's nothing worse than drinking a smoothie as a meal replacement and you're kind of not satisfied at the end of it sadness sadness sadness, sadness only some almond milk going in there and you can totally make your own almond milk as well if you wanted to which is really really easy i've heard of that too that people yeah. act people are overachievers they make meal looks so bad. Imagine <laughs> making your own almond milk. Easy, easy. easy. Then what you got to do, mix it all up. Yep. Just like that. What I like to do is I like to freeze this again to get that texture. Okay. Now, like you see that one over there is quite frozen. Yeah, this one is a lot thicker. I saw it being yeah. poured in. And this one is a bit more juicier. So this one you can have maybe after uh -huh. a meal. Absolutely. Yeah. Have it as a dessert Oh, can even. you smell that almond can nuttiness? Can you? Oh, look at my one's got all the nuts in from the bottom. No, we're swapping. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Happy Friday, Kim. Happy Friday. We deserve this. Now to get your hands on this delicious recipe for the five roses, turmeric, almond milk, and frozen iced tea latte, all you need to do is SMS the keyword five roses to 33650, and you'll receive the link to this recipe. SMSs cost one hundred fifty, and no free SMSs apply. Visit afternoonexpress.co. Mm. <laughs> it's big excitement in the loft today. It's a Friday and we've got two live performances for you. After the break, first up is God. And then a little bit later on, we have Monga performing for us. And Jeannie introduces us to her Big D Burger. Don't go away. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. 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 Don't you know? Sometimes I lie by saying. Get ready. The face of cybercrime is changing, and so are we. We 
are smarter. We take charge. We are in control. We are brave, innovative, everywhere. We are Sabrek. Welcome back to Afternoon Express on SABC3, where the stage is yours. Now, in a world where people often forget to appreciate their loved ones, and this song embraces all the feels that we should share with them, here to perform their latest song, Appreciate, we've got guard, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yeah. How's it going, John? Get to know each other a little bit. So, uh, let's go. Take my time and I don't rush, but you still grab a hold of my time. Now it's all about us. Yeah. Now it's all about us. She said, it's either you with me or you do without me. I'm glad to let you know that you're enough, baby. Yeah. Now, do you believe it? There's nothing stopping you from leaping out. Do you see it? My queen, girl, you could be it. I pray that you shine. Say, uh, I pray that you shine. Oh, yeah. How's everybody doing? Let's go with this appreciation. Yeah. And we've got my brother here with me, Yanka Yaya. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely spectacular. Now, the ways in which quality technology improves our lives is all around us. One of the most influential brands in giving us that feel of easy living, the sense that life is good, is LG, a company whose dedication to research and development is to make our day even better and to see how they're doing it. We went to the source of all this innovation. Recently, we were guests of LG Electronics headed for the hub of an economic miracle, constantly crossing new frontiers in smart technology. 
the capital of a nation synonymous with creating tomorrow's technology today. LG has invited us on a trip around the world to Seoul, South Korea. Now, as the industry leaders in premium smart home appliances, this trip is sure to prove that life really is good. Let me go freshen up. <laughs> Being in Korea feels like I've stepped into the future. On the tour bus, looking around, I felt like the buildings looked like spaceships. It was insane. But I love being here, and I can't wait to try out the food. I can't wait to meet the people, and more importantly, go to LG. The company plays a large role in the global consumer electronics industry, manufacturing products for home entertainment, mobile communications, and home appliances. LG Twin Towers, where we're about to meet Mr. Lee, who is the sales and marketing MEA. And plus, as an added bonus, we get a tour of this incredible building. A great conversation at the LG Twin Towers was started about the LG Neo Chef, the LG Instaview, and the LG Twin Wash. These are all three home appliances. One, a microwave, but it's so much more than a microwave. Fridge and washer, all going above and beyond. LG has been working super hard to ensure that our home lives are that much easier with their wide range of appliances. Mr. Lee, thank you so much for enlightening us on the world of LG. But first question, how does LG make sure that they're ahead of the curve when it comes to innovation in their products? So as a global company, we want to outperform our competitors and we also want to outperform the demand or the need of our consumers. That is why our priority focus is with R&D. And uh, through market surveys and the development process, I think we are keeping abreast of times. What's new and exciting that your customers can look forward to? So as a company, LG is always prepared to introduce new and exciting things to our consumers. So if I may give you some examples with our refrigerators and washing machines, uh, well, for refrigerators, we have uh, introduced what's called the InstaView. So if you knock twice on the door of these refrigerators, you'll be able to see what's inside. An example of the washing machine is the twin wash function. It allows you to do two washes simultaneously, the main washer and the main Mini washer allows you separate washes of delicate clothes and your everyday wear. And on top of that, we're introducing whole new products. The styler allows you to maintain uh, the excellence of your clothes without any fabric damage or wrinkles. Uh, so this is a clothing care line uh, we are going to introduce throughout the world, including South Africa. Amazing stuff. Looking at technology five years ago to where it is today, what is your forecast? Where do you see technology going in the next five years? Technology is definitely uh, developing faster than it used to a decade ago. Uh, and uh, I think it's thanks to the advent of smart technology, Internet of Things, and also connectivity. So when we launch our product, we want to be future ready. So that is why all our products that are currently being launched are Wi-Fi ready. Mr. Lee, thank you so much for all your amazing insight. And it is true, the future is where Korea is. The city is definitely in like 3018. <laughs> After meeting with Mr. Lee, we jumped back onto the bus and headed over to the LG Science Park to find out more about their latest technologies and to see them live in action. We're now at the LG Science Park, which is a new generation research campus that intends to promote collaboration and innovation from staff and scientists from multiple disciplines. But enough talking, let's go check it out. The design of the LG Science Park features individual buildings tailored to specific scientific activities. The campus serves as the world research headquarters for the global brand and a hub for scientific talent in Korea. KZ, I feel like I need to move into this gorgeous apartment. Tell me more about the space. LG Science Park is a special research space where the core technology of LG is gathered. So you can experience how to make your life more efficient through the Q house. Yeah, I, I get that. I feel like if I were to move into this, this specific space, my life would improve tenfold. But I've got a best friend here, little Miss Chloe. She is so cute. And you touched on the fact that she can respond emotionally. I mean, she's like the rest of us. She loves love. Show us how you interact with Chloe. 
I like Korean more because Korean more very uh, like emotionally. <laughs> if you touch it, the Chloe head, <laughs> so Chloe feel the shame or shy. If you hit the face, Chloe feeling angry or I'm sick. But the real question is, we all need rest. Does Chloe ever rest? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I guess that's the perks of having a robot in your home. She doesn't rest. <laughs> For people like me who unfortunately can't have pets in their apartments, Chloe is this amazing artificial intelligence robot who literally is a saving grace. And best of all, she loves to be petted. <laughs> Visiting the LG headquarters in Seoul was an eye-opener on our future. Their focus on innovation indicates the forward thinking LG prides itself on and that we've come to expect and rely on. So as if this Friday couldn't get any better, we've dubbed every Friday Burger Day in the Loft. So each week we'll f uh, feature a different burger and this week we showcase my designer flavor, which we've called the Big D Burger, which just happens to be my signature yeah. favorite. I really enjoyed making this recipe with you though. Talking yeah. to you, the questions were quite intense. Yeah. I had to feel you. Feel no, the burger. You, you just understood me. I you did. just got me. I did, actually. So your key elements were Spanish chorizo. Portuguese chorizo. Okay, because the Spanish invented it. <laughs> but, okay. Emmental cheese, which mm. you and I actually guessed at the same time. Yeah, love Emmental. All right. It's the best. And then pineapple. Yes. Why? Because sometimes a patty can be a little dry, so you need the juiciness on I've it. I've never made a dry Patty in my life. Uh, I, I might have had a few okay. burgers. But I like it. And you but just said, nice. will the flavors go well together? Yes. And I say yes. Yeah. Like that spicy like notes of the chorizo with the beautiful nuttiness of the Emmental cheese and then the tang of the pineapple. When's your cookbook I mean, coming out? Yeah, it's coming. I'm coming. <laughs> All right. This Patty's is going to be down. so absolutely delicious. It's going to be ridiculously okay. delicious. Patty's on the grill. Yeah, so this is a burger you have to have to try. And every Friday, Patty's buns and sliced cheese actually a promo at Woolies. Okay. Absolutely. So, so it's not only Burger Day in the Loft, it's Burger no. Day for I sent them an email. I was like, listen, we're doing this. You have to meet me halfway. And they were like, yes. What a promo. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, You're welcome. Kim, for bringing us Burger Fridays. Yeah, absolutely. Pineapple going down. Now, pineapple, like we said, nice and tangy. But yeah. when you pop it on the grill, still stays like tangy and sweet, but a bit of like a smoky flavor to it. Ooh. Love that. Okay. Love that. Nice. But just like, you know, it's spicy. It's, sorry, it's tangy. Sweet, just like you. Yeah. But just like <laughs> you, it needs a bit of spice. Just like me, it needs to be spicy. There we go. Ooh, it doesn't want to come out. It's like the computer says no. Because you didn't open it. I didn't it open it. Man, why is that the people? You do. Clem, you need an assistant. Yeah, I will you, be more than happy to take that off. Well, All if right. you pay well, yeah. All right, I mean, I'll... girls like me in the kitchen don't come cheap. <laughs> okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. Also, I'm happy that you're doing this because you can, like, regulate. Oh, spicy. spicy. Okay. Ooh. Do you want on the fleece as well? Why not? Okay. There we go. So my trick to any, any burger is to always glaze it. Right? Very, very important. Can I get the basting brush from you over there? There we go. It would be this. So my favorite is the smoky, smoky barbecue. Okay. Okay, normally you flip it over and then glaze, but I want you to just give it, get it in there. So this Ooh. gives it that like, little finish. It makes it look this pretty. This is why your patty It's like makeup, makeup for your patty. I know. All right, yes, yes. Now let's fold this because I've got to give it instructions. So, ultimate buns, because it has to be the ultimate, right? Yes. Sesame? Anything else? No. Have you toasted these? Of course. Of course. Good. We don't do other, like anything else in that. Oh, okay, so when those are done, we've got some here. All right, cool. So okay. what do you want to go first? You said, okay, burger mayo? A little bit, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sauce, sauce. I love sauce. sauce. And then yeah. your lettuce. And you, you and I agree on this. Lettuce first and then tomato so that the lettuce doesn't go too soft. Yes. I like that. I like a, crus a crispy lettuce. Okay. Then a tomato. Oh, I didn't even put them. Ah, oh, you see. It's fine. Well, even this is proving to be a challenge for me. And I'm serious. I tried this burger. Oh, I did put it you on. You did. I tried this burger oh. and it is really, really good. Okay. So are you not going to help me? Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm a selfish builder. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Patty. Patty. Now, here's my trick, right? While the burger's still warm. Oh, the chorizo, guys. We're gonna, where's it? While the patty's still warm, oh, you no, can eat it with the Emmental cheese. cheese, then chorizo. Yes. So okay. the cheese can still melt. Have you got cheese in front of you? Okay. On the, on the patty. We. Oui. Okay. 
and it's then I'm just warming. So Literally, you don't size. have to warm up the chorizo. I'm only doing this because it's, it's like nice and oily. Yeah. You want to like wake up those oils inside the chorizo. So you know how nice the chorizo is. You know, the other day we were discussing making palak paneer. Uh -huh. Imagine putting chorizo uh, in palak paneer. Uh, yes. Um, I should have been born Indian. Let me tell you. Should have. Should have been. I was definitely Indian in a past I'm missing life. cheese, but it's fine. So this is the Genie D burger. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. Next week, it's the Pali Burger. We're still naming it. Yeah. But this is the big... <coughs> chili! The big D is the way. It's the way. Done. Deal. How perfect is that? I literally have the best burger flavor combination ever. We're a good team. Well done, you. I can't wait to eat these. Next week, we'll feature another presenter's signature burger. But today, it's all about the big D. So to get the ingredients list and link to the full recipe, sent to your iPhone, simply SMS EAT to 33650. And in case you missed any of these steps and you don't let any big things intimidate you, here's a quick recap. After the break, setting us off onto the weekend on the right note, Monga K performs live in the loft. See you after the break. <laughs> Create a stir this summer with Nola Mayonnaise and Afternoon Express. Every Thursday, the lovely Lucia Tiane and the lazy Makoti join us in the loft to create a stir and show us how to add a creamy twist to your favorite dishes. When you SMS Nola to 33650 for the week's recipe, you're also entered into the grand prize draw to win an LG InstaView fridge worth 35,000 Rand. Winning has never tasted so good.
Moving out, need more room. Scaling down, private property is a great place to start your search. With thousands of new properties from South Africa's top real estate agents, banks, developers and homeowners. It's the easiest way to find your next home. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Search privateproperty.co.za. Enter the winner home competition on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance to win a brand new, fully decorated apartment at Parterfly Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties, worth over three million rand. Happy Friday and thank you for choosing Afternoon Express this weekend. Now his diverse background has the most definitely influenced his diverse sound. Now with his debut album in tow for his 22nd, for this 22nd year old artist, he is truly set for marvelous heights. Here is Manga K performing Fink's Wave. <laughs> Voices echo in the back Lucid dreams is where he's at A constant trope Hidden needs of all devotion Put this wave into motion It's a critical compulsion You, you're taking flight It feels all right You got the right to choose Revolution oh, Might be complicated Fabricated Rest assured it won't stay Jaded This is Sphinx like painted oh. Facing Constant pride What I do without these eyes Jerk me on the right My bones chronicles of a good time Facing Constant pride Yeah. 
Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you on Monday, same time, same place. Good night. God bless. See Happy you on Monday, weekend. everyone. See you on Monday. Happy weekend. Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.